Good afternoon. This is your News Wardell update. I'm Kay Ingram. And right now in Massapequa Park, Long Island, investigators are digging up the backyard of accused Gilgo Beach murderer Rex Hewerman. They are also using radar equipment to find potential evidence. News 4's Miles Miller is in Massapequa Park and has the latest. Now, investigators remain at the home of Rex Hewerman this morning. They're continuing their search for evidence, looking for clues that may lead to more details about the deaths of three women who were dumped at Gilgo Beach. Now, digging happened here at this home this weekend. They brought in excavating equipment, looking to see if there were any clues to those murders buried beneath his home here in Massapequa Park. For much of the last 10 days, they've been loading boxes of evidence into police trucks and excavating equipment is here to look for those clues as well. Police are pouring through all of the potential evidence they've collected from this Long Island home after the architect and father of two pleaded not guilty to murdering three young women over a decade ago. Rex Hewerman will be in court in, on August 1st in Riverhead to answer to the charges levied against him. For now, he's at the Suffolk County Jail. In Massapequa Park, I'm Miles Miller, News 4 New York. All right, Miles, thank you for the latest there. Right now in Westchester County, there is a manhunt for a robbery suspect who escaped police custody. This right here is the man that they're looking for. Yonkers police say Geraldo Rojas was arrested on robbery charges and handed over to county correction officers. But he somehow managed to escape while under their watch at St. Joseph's Hospital. So if you've seen Rojas or know where he is, call police today. Now today, we could find out if anyone will face charges for a crash that shut down the Manhattan Bridge for hours. Witnesses say a Mercedes plowed into several cars overnight yesterday on Bowery between Bayard and Canal Streets. The FDNY says 10 cars were involved and 14 people were hurt. One victim had serious injuries. Officers say one person was in custody, but they have not released any other details. Recreational marijuana may be legal across New York State, but one lawmaker wants to limit where you can use it. Republican State Senator George Borrello has introduced a bill that would ban smoking or consumption of marijuana in public places, unless authorized by the local government. Now, right now, state law allows it anywhere tobacco is allowed. Borrello says his office has gotten complaints from people who don't want to smell pot while out in public. The bill is being reviewed in a committee, and we will let you know if it advances. All right, happening today, it is time to make those reservations because NYC Restaurant Week is officially underway. More than 500 restaurants across the five boroughs are offering prefix lunch and dinner menus at reduced prices. Lunches cost as little as $30 for two courses, and dinner will cost you anywhere from $30 to $60 for three courses. Restaurant Week actually lasts four weeks from July 24th until August 20th. The Broadway musical New York, New York is closing in just six days on Sunday. A report in Playbill says it's because of the high cost of production and dropping box office revenues. New York, New York got nine Tony nominations this season, winning for Best Scenic Design of a Musical. It's playing at the St. James Theater on West 44th Street. All right, how about a quick check of your weather? We're tracking some showers and thunderstorms generally just outside the area, though making it into uh, far northwestern counties, including Liberty. That's where we're seeing the threat for some locally strong to severe thunderstorms in the city, expecting maybe a passing shower or storm, but you can see the stormy weather likely to favor areas to the west. Right now, it's pretty quiet in Midtown. We're up to 81 degrees. Our heat index at 82, so the humidity is creeping, although the main story, I think, the next two days will be the scattered showers and thunderstorms before we turn to the heat. Wednesday getting up to 91 degrees and that should be the beginning of a heat wave up to 91 on Wednesday, 95 by Friday and still into the 90s by Saturday. And it is going to be sweltering with heat indices in the 95 to near 100 degree range as we head into Thursday and Friday, especially eventually showers and thunderstorms return to the forecast on Saturday and that will help cool things down and we are back to the 80s by Sunday. So stormy two days before we crank up the heat and our heat wave begins as early as Wednesday. Kay, sending it back over to you. All right, great to know. Thanks, Violetta.